Hey there, Team Geometry. Uh, this is a lesson about the equations of lines, and particularly if they're parallel or perpendicular. Uh, pause for a moment. Read the aim, please. So let me talk to you about how this presentation will work. Uh, so here's the breakdown. Uh, we're going to deal with the first part of the aim for the first five examples, and then the second part for the last three examples. At any point, obviously, the idea is once I see... Here's an example. The idea would be if you think you know how to do it, just pause the video, do it yourself, and then check to see that what I come up with is the same as what you come up with. All right, let's get started. So example one, we are supposed to, we are supposed to find the slope of a line that is parallel to this given line right here. So things I want you to do, make sure you annotate your question, which I'm going to try to do here. All right, so it says, Parallel to, so under that I just write a note to myself. This means it has the same. Mm -hmm. This means it has the same slope. Slope. Seriously. There we go. Uh, it means it has the same slope uh, as our given line. So now my next task is to find out what exactly is the slope of this line that I have right here. Well, this line you may notice is in slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b form. So what is the slope of this line? Well, the slope of this line is the coefficient of x, 3. So if I want a line that has the same slope as a line uh, with slope 3, then obviously the same slope would be 3. So slope our answer would be 3. That's my answer. I'll put it in a box. Put it in a nice pink box. Here we go. And there is our answer. Okay, moving on. Level 2. Take a moment to read it to yourself. Once again, let's annotate the question. First, that's the operative word. That means same slope as this line right here whose slope I read as negative 2 thirds. Well, that means if I want a line with the same slope, the slope I want is negative 2 over 3. That does not look like 3. There we go. That's the most 3 that was ever 3. All right, here we go. So there's our slope, and we're good. Next example, uh, take a moment to read it to yourself and pause it, try to do it if you already know it. If not, I will help. Annotating the question, the keyword is perpendicular, which means we don't want to have the same slope. We want to have opposite reciprocal slopes. There we go. So we want to have opposite reciprocal slopes, so I need to figure out what is the slope of my line that I've been given. Well, like we noticed before, it's in slope-intercept form. So to find the slope, we just look at the coefficient of x. So the slope of this line is negative 2 over 3. 3. 3. There we go. Over 3. Let me fix that. So we have negative 2 over 3. Well, to get the opposite reciprocal, I need the opposite. So that sign needs to change. So I'm going to show my new slope here. I'm going to call it m sub perpendicular. So I know it's going to be positive because this other the old slope was negative. And then reciprocal, as you may know, means to flip what's on the top and the bottom uh, in the numerator and denominator. So if it was 2 over 3, it will now be 3 over 2. So my new slope equals positive 3 over 2. That would be the slope of a line perpendicular to the given line. Here's a new example, example four. So in this one they ask us to find the slope of a line parallel, oops, that's not my pen, here's my pen. Uh, the slope of a line that is parallel to, and what does parallel mean? So really this is a question, find the slope of a line parallel to, or with the same slope as, 2x plus y equals 3. What you hopefully notice pretty quickly about the line they gave us it is in standard form. It's not in slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept form, as we have talked about before 
and as you know, is y equals mx plus b form. It gives you the slope right away. Standard form doesn't. Uh, and before you like wonder, you get on hating about why would they ever give you standard form. Standard form actually does have some advantages to it. It's a lot easier to graph from, uh, from for example. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do is get this line from standard form into slope-intercept form. So I've written it out uh, right here. I've written it out right here. Uh, just transferred it over so I have some space to work with. What we're going to do is isolate the y in order to get this into y equals mx plus b form. So if I want y by itself, what's the first thing I need to do? Hopefully you said subtract 2x from both sides. What would that leave us with? Hopefully that you said, uh, that hopefully you said uh, y equals negative 2x plus 3. Again, you said positive 3 because it was not a negative 3. It was just a 3, which means positive 3. So that's why this is here. Negative 2x went here. It is possible you wrote it a little differently. This would also be correct. The issue I have with this is that it doesn't actually look like mx plus b form. It looks like b plus mx form, uh, which is not something you're used to. So this I would use, I would do if you were doing like substitution, if you were going to then substitute in for y, uh, maybe I would do this. Um, but this isn't really going to help us in our, our purpose right now. So we don't want this, so I'm going to get rid of it in exchange for the one that we do want right here. So from this you can clearly read off, I hope, what is the slope uh, of the line, which would be what now? Hopefully you thought to yourself the slope is negative 2. So if we now need to have a line with the same slope as that, our new slope will just remain negative 2. So that would be a line that has the same slope or is parallel to uh, the given line. Example 5. Find the slope of a line perpendicular to 2x minus y equals 4. Uh, again, we're given perpendicular to. And please do annotate your questions. Please re remind yourself that it is opposite and reciprocal, because I don't want you doing just like half of that, uh, because if you only find the slope that's opposite, that's not actually perpendicular. Uh, so, where's my pen here? Okay, and so here is our line. What form is the line given to us in? Hopefully you're thinking standard form. So again, the slope's not quite obvious. So we're going to have to turn this line from standard form into slope-intercept form. So in order to get y by itself, what do I need to do first? Hopefully you said subtract negative 2x from both sides. What will that leave me with? Given that you never make mistakes, I'm sure you said this. Uh, just notice the negative sign that was there. Don't lose it. This tends to disappear uh, if you're not careful. And then negative 2x I put in front, positive 4. Again, it was a positive 4, so it stayed that way. Uh, negative 2x I put in front so that this would look more like slope-intercept form. What comes next? Hopefully you're saying divide by negative 1 to turn negative y into y, because it's not negative y equals mx plus b, it's y equals mx plus b. Uh, and then let's just go step by step here. So if I have negative 2x over negative 1, uh, I'll deal with that, and then I'll deal with 4 over negative 1. All right, so negative 2x over negative 1. What is a negative divided by a negative? Hopefully you thought positive, which would mean we have positive 2x, because 2 divided by 1 is just 2. And then positive 4 over negative 1. Hopefully you believe that 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. That means the line they gave us is really the line negative 2x, sorry, y equals 2x minus 4. So this line right here, let me just use my laser. So, which laser do I want? All right. So this line right here could really be given as this. So these are the same line right here. Boom, boom. All we've been doing is algebra. So instead of dealing with standard form, I'm going to deal with slope-intercept form. Uh, and I'll notice the slope from this, uh, the slope of this line is just 2. Well, if the slope was 2, then my perpendicular slope 
should be the opposite. So if it was a positive 2, I will say it should be a negative something. If it was positive, it should be negative. And 2, I need the reciprocal of 2, which may not be obvious at first. So I'm going to do something to the 2. So 2 can be written as a fraction, because 2 is really the same as something divided by something. What is that? What could I mean by that? Well, you could say it's 4 divided by 2, or 8 divided by 4, or I'll just say it is. In lowest terms, 2 is really just 2 divided by 1. So then if I want the reciprocal, again, all I need to do is flip the numerator and denominator of my current fraction. So I have this, I have 2 as a numerator, I have 1 as the denominator. I'm going to flip that. So now, 1 goes into the numerator, or on top. 2 goes into the denominator on the bottom. And at this point, I have done what they have asked me to do. And there we go, on example 6. New question type. Are the two lines below parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So again, if it's parallel, how will the slopes be related? Hopefully you said the same slope. If it's perpendicular, how will the slopes be related? Hopefully you said opposite reciprocals or negative reciprocals. Uh, and neither is just no relate, like basically not the same, not opposite reciprocals would be neither. If it's not one of these two, then it's neither perpendicular nor uh, parallel. Just in case you're wondering what that would look like, here are two lines that are parallel. Here are two lines that are perpendicular, sort of. Pretend that's a right angle. Uh, and here are two lines that are neither. That angle that they intersect at is clearly not a right angle. Uh, this angle right here is not 90. So this would be neither. These are neither parallel nor perpendicular. If this is a right angle, these are perpendicular. And as you can see, this looks like this. Well, I say you can't hear me when I, when I say this. This looks like two parallel lines. It actually looks like the parallel symbol as well. All right, so to figure this out, hopefully you're guessing or you're able to read because you're literate, uh, you know that we're going to do this by comparing the slopes. So I'm going to look at the slope of this line. I'm going to look at the slope of this line and see are they the same? Are they opposite reciprocals or are they neither? So let's first get the, let's tackle the hard one first. What is the slope of this line? Take a moment, figure out what the slope of this line is. Hopefully when you solve this for y or isolated y, uh, put this into point slope form, you ended up getting what I said here, 2 thirds x minus 4 thirds. I, if you are wondering, subtracted 2x from both sides, then I divided both sides by negative 3. Uh, negative divided by negative yielded a positive. Positive divided by a negative yielded a negative. So now looking at this line, hopefully you can tell the slope. And the slope is 2 thirds. Alright, so that's the slope of the first line. One line down, one line to go. Fortunately, the second line right here, oops, let's underline it. The second line right here is in what form? Hopefully you said mx plus b form, or more appropriately, slope-intercept form, where you can tell just from the question, or just from the format, what the slope and what the y-intercept is. Well, the slope they give us, so I'll write that down. So, the slope of that second line is negative two-thirds. Well, let's take a look at our slopes. Are they the same? Hopefully you are saying no, because this number and this number are not the same. Well, that means it is not the case that they are parallel. Okay, well, are these two numbers opposite reciprocals? Well, they are opposites for sure. That's positive, that's negative. But are they reciprocals? No. That means these must be neither. So instead of just circling it and making me, your teacher, hunt for it, you're going to write in big letters, neither. All right, new example, example seven. Please pause if you haven't been doing this already. Um, but please pause the presentation at this point or the video uh, and see if you can do this yourself. Hopefully when you placed both of the lines or converted them into slope-intercept form, you got something that looks like this. First line was 1 half x minus 1 half. The second line was 1 half x minus 5 over 2. From here, you hopefully notice the slope was 1 over 2. 
from here you notice the slope was also 1 over 2 so I'm going to make sure everyone's really clear here I'm saying the slope is 1 over 2 here I'm saying the slope is 1 over 2 actually let me convert the color of that one so if there are any doubts I will write out I have observed that these are the same so for that reason hopefully my thought process is very clear if those two slopes are the same the lines must be parallel please remember for your reader just include every part of your thought process so don't just sort of go from like oh I've isolated both of these or I've put them both I've isolated both y's I've put these both in a slope intercept form so the lines are parallel they don't know what you're looking at so make it very clear I'm looking at the slope of this line the slope of this line I am deducing that they are both the same through my stunning powers of observation. Uh, and then because the slopes are the same, the lines are parallel. One more example, example 8. Please pause the presentation and do it yourself. And then I'll show you my answer in just a bit. Hopefully that looks good. Um, so just some notes. Get four-thirds for the first slope. I believe you get negative three-fourths for the second slope. Just a quick thing, I don't, uh, I guess, fraction, improper fractions don't make me nervous if the top is, if the numerator is greater than the denominator, but unsimplified ones do. So if you said 10 over 4, just keep in mind you don't really like saying 10 over 4, you really like calling it 5 over 2. Uh, negative three-fourths, four-thirds, they're opposite, positive versus negative. They are reciprocals, four on top, three on the bottom. 3 on top, 4 on the bottom. Well, if that's the case, then this is the final answer that you would give. All right, I hope you learned something. Have a great day.